Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, we are going to continue my series on building small houses. Now, I've done two by two, I've done three by three, I've done five by five. This is going to be seven by seven. Now, this is not like seven by seven by seven cube. That's not what we're talking about. It's got a seven by seven footprint. And with the roof, there could be a little bit of overhang. It's just what I mean. It's a small house, dead easy for you to build. But what's really important about this is that we're only going to use resources that we can get from the really, really early game. So what do I mean by that? I mean only derivatives of wood, specifically oak in this case, derivatives of stone or sand, which is all dead easy to get right at the beginning of the game. Look, if you look around me, I've got loads of trees around me. This is a, a flat world, so it's not generated as much as you would expect because it's a flat world. In a normal world, you get way more trees than that. There's sand, and if you dig down a bit, you're going to get stone. Dead, dead simple, right? So that's the whole idea. You can do this in an early game. And if you're clever and fast, actually, I reckon you could do this in your first day if you were quick, and certainly by the end of your second day. So it's an early stage house, but that doesn't mean it's just going to be a dirt box. No, we're going to go for something with a little bit more snaz. So shall we crack on with it? Let's do it now. So you can see we've got our seven by seven square here. I've just marked it out in wall. This is not structural. This is not part of the build. This is just so you can see it dead easy, all right? So don't say, oh, you didn't have wall in your inventory, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not how it works. This is just to show you that it's a seven by seven square. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring in our oak wood blocks and we're going to shove one in each corner like that. Now you'll notice this is a similar way that we start most houses and that's because if it ain't broke don't fix it. This is a good way to build a house. Get a tower of four blocks in each corner of your square. That will give you a really nice looking house and then bring your frame across. Now if you want to do a bigger house what you can do is actually multiple of these squares. If you've watched my house tutorial series that I've been doing recently uh, where I download the houses you'll note that all of the houses are actually done in this style just multiples of them you get a square be it seven by seven nine by nine whatever it might be and then you just carry on building and building up and building up until you've got a shape that you like okay so we're making these cross beams like this so we've got a seven by seven by four now you could go seven by seven by five but for this build i've decided i'm just going to go seven by seven by four and then you've got to decide where are you going to have your front and your back of your house so i'm going to have two doors one at the front one at the back and i've decided this is going to be my front right here, no, nope, there, and this is going to be my back there. So I'm just going to line those all around with cobble. Now the reason I'm using cobble is it's dead easy to mine out again if you want to change it and it doesn't change. If you use stone and you mine it out, it turns to cobble. So just use cobble and then it comes out straight away. Then what I want to do is I want to take out this inside bit here. I'm then going to fill it up with oak wood planks and that is going to act as the floor of my house. Now it is a fairly compact and bijou house, I would agree, but we're going to get quite a lot of stuff in here. You'd be surprised what we're going to do with it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start thinking about our roof. Now I know, it's like, why do you do the roof before you do the rest of the house? Because the roof actually brings things together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some cobblestone steps, which I've not actually got yet, I've noticed. And we're going to shove cobblestone step right the way along the edge of this house like that. And we're going to come out one, I'm going to come out one there, not so as to turn in a corner like that. Then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side, all the way along, just like that. Now, here is where you can get creative if you wish, but I'm not going to do it on this particular build. We're just going to do a standard A-shaped gable like this, coming up all the way to the middle, like that. I'm going to come down and do exactly the same on this side. And then you notice in the middle we have got one gap. That's what happens when you use odd numbers for your squares. If you use even numbers for your squares, these will be connected. And that is an option too, especially if you want to do a double door in the front. That works really, really well. But I've just gone for a single. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my cobble in there. And I'm going to shove a step on the side like that. And it gives a nice little overhang, which is nice for detail. Then we're going to do the same on this side. <laughs> Just like that. Now, I think that looks really, really quite nice as a good start, but there's a lot more detailing to go into. So stick with me, peeps. You'll see what we're doing. We're then going to make the roof by coming across like that and doing the same on the other side. And then we're just going to carry on going up using, whoops, using these steps all the way along. Now, you'll notice we're not going the upside down step at the moment here. We'll do something momentarily on here, but I just want to get it so as we've got 
steps going outwards, not inwards. Coming on this side, just finishing it off. Then get yourself your spruce wood block, the planks, and put those like that. Get yourself a spruce wood slab, bring that along the top like that, and also get yourself a cobble slab, which also I haven't managed to put in my inventory yet. Well done, Avo, you're a genius. And we put one there, one there, and one like that. And again, one there, one there, and one like that. And what that gives you is a really nice overhang detail like that, which you can, if you wish, play with a little bit later. Now, at this stage, if this was your first day, you're probably getting towards night time, so you want to get yourself protected. So we kind of come inside, and we're going to get ourselves our door, and stick our door down there and there. Then what you can do is you can row up all the way around here with your cobble, shove yourself, where's my torch? Shove yourself a torch in there, dump your bed down really quick, like that. And you can just sleep the night away dead fast. And when it's daytime again, you can get on with the rest of your build. Okay, it's day two now. Now, I did say at the start, if you're really fast, you could do this in one day. You'd have to be proper fast, but I reckon you could just about get there. But this is day two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating these walls in a way that we want them. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to use these three different types of stone. Now, theoretically, you could also have cracked stone brick here. All you need to do is smelt the, the stone bricks and you get nice cracked stone brick. If you are near the right biome, you might be able to have vimes really, really early, in which case you could have mossy stone bricks. But right now, I'm just going to assume you've got these three really easy bits of stone. And we're going to randomly swap out some of these stones for different types there we go so we're going to do that and then we're going to get some smooth stone in there we're going to put it there and there and i reckon i'm going to put a bit of smooth stone over here as well now i'm also going to get some glass in we're going to do glass there and we're going to come around and do glass there and that'll give us some nice windows so if i then bring myself some cobble there that starts to connect that up and some stone there. So you've got our window very nicely. And then do the same over this side too. Put that like that. And I might make that a piece of cobble. And then I'm also going to get some glass blocks, I think. And we're going to put glass blocks. Why am I pressing that button? I'm going to put glass blocks next to the doors there and there. Because when you're looking out your door, you want to be able to see what's going on, don't you? So that's there like that. And then we're going to get stone back. I'm going to put stone there, stone there. I'm going to make that a cobble, I think. And that's going to be a stone in that corner. So you can see we're building up the walls really, really nicely. You would have obviously, if you'd have slept one night, be replacing these rather than just building them up. And then again, similarly, get yourself some stone and top off these in any way you quite fancy, to be honest. It just really depends on what you like the look of. Now these look a bit blocky at the moment, don't worry, we are going to do something about it. It is not going to be blocky for long. I'm going to shove that layer like that. We are going to play around with it. Then we're going to get some cobblestone steps. And we're going to get those cobblestone steps and run them there and there, there and there. There and there, there, there. And upside down like that. So we will do something about that in a moment, don't you worry. That upside down there is temporary just to remind me that I need to do something with it. There and there 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 and that upside down there just to remind me so we're starting to get together uh, a nice looking house but what we've got is a relatively limited amount of space inside oh have i missed some i've missed some there as well let's fix that we're going to shove that like that and that like that now we've got some nice open space here and that's great we're going to get some oak wood planks there 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 and there and what we're going to do here is we're going to get our glass pane there and there. So we're looking for some real kind of airy space inside. So two little L shapes there and there. So now inside we've got an area that is completely enclosed and totally, totally safe. We're not worried about getting done whatsoever by anybody. Inside here we can now start to put in some chests. So I'm going to put chests along this one side there and there there and there. I'm going to do the same here, there and there, 
there and there. So we've got plenty of storage. I'm going to get this torch and like the other side, I'm going to match it there. We're then going to get our furnaces. Furnace is going to go there, there and there, there, there and there. So you can see we've got quite a decent amount of space and we can reach all of it from the bottom without compromising the space we've got here. But what I want to do is go down. So we're going to go down one, two and three. We're going to get ourselves our cobble and we're going to line this with cobble like this. That we're going to line with the wood because it's a bit unsightly, isn't it? Let's get that like that and like that. So that's line with wood. We're going to come down another one. We're going to get more cobble. There, 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 and there. Bump, 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 and bump. There, 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 and there. Bump, 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 and bump. Down one more. There, there, and there. And then what this is going to give us is an underground area that we can build into anything we want. Now, I'm not going to build this because this is entirely up to you whether or not you even want to do this. But I thought this would be a really nice way to increase the size of your house underneath if you should wish. Now you might want to turn this into an enchanting area, you might want to turn it into a potions making area or anything you like, but basically make it big enough for whatever purpose you want to have it for. And that will work beautifully for you. There you go, let's shove another torch just there and you've got plenty of space and you can build that up as big or as little as you want. You don't have to be restricted by the seven by seven if you didn't want to. Then get yourself ladders there and there. And then get yourself a trap door and that trap door can go the top of that and that will then close and what is good about trap doors is you can climb up and down trap doors and they let you in and out and you can close it off so it doesn't get in the way i really like that feature about trap doors they're really really good now what you can do is you can replace your bed shove your bed back there you can get yourself a crafting table get your crafting table there and then get yourself a little bit of carpet just to make it look a little bit less woody and you've got a really nice little system there for your insides but we've not finished of course we're not finished we're going to be doing some more detailing on the outside because it's not yet done we've got a house that's starting to look all right but it's not yet finished looking all right first thing we've got to do is get rid of this wall here what's that all about we need to get some gravel shove a bit of gravel in the front there come around shove a bit of gravel in the back there. Don't need you remember we had these upside down as here. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to um, get, where's my, uh, we're going to fill that up with dirt. So again, dirt, dead easy to get at the early game. You should have absolutely tons of it. Shove a bit of dirt in there. Shove that upside down. Or if you wish, you can wait for the grass to grow underneath it and then shove it upside down. It's entirely up to you. Come around the other side again, get rid of that, put some dirt in there and shove that upside down. So what you've then got is quite a nice window sill. And if you wanted to and you had the necessary resources, you could perhaps put something in a plant pot there. Now plant pots theoretically aren't going to be available at this stage unless you've been really lucky and got yourself some clay, etc. But that's OK. We're going to put a trap door either side of that, a trap door there, a trap door there either side of that again and a trap door there and a trap door there so you can see we've started to build up what looks like quite a nice little house we're going to get some fence fence there and there there and there we're going to come around this side do exactly the same there and there there and there it just makes for a little bit of extra support and then we're going to get where has it gone there it is we're going to get our cobblestone step again and we're going to put a cobblestone step there and there and just widen the feet a little bit. Now, like I said, this is does go outside the 7x7, so don't you be putting in the comments it goes outside the 7x7 because this overhang does too. What we're trying to achieve here is something that looks nice. So we've got a nice looking little outside. So now we need to continue the detail with some torches. These torches can go over the top of that door, over the top of that window, over the top of that door and over the top of that window. So we're starting to create a house that is looking nice from every angle. What we want to do now though, is we want to decide in here what part of this roof we're not bothered about not seeing. Because what I want to do is I want to get myself a chimney in here. So decide whether or not you want one side or the other. 
and decide what side you want your chimney on. So I'm going to have my chimney on this side and it's going to be a, there we go, so that there and there, or that block there. So I'm going to get rid of those two tops there. I'm going to put another block there and there. So that is the shape of my chimney. I'm now going to just fiddle around with the blocks I use for the chimney. And um, we're going to put another one of those there. We're going to shove that there. I'm going to shove that there, that there, and that there. So that's become our chimney stack. Now that might be a little bit tall and harsh. I agree it is. So we're going to get rid of those four. And we're going to get ourselves some cobblestone wall. And we're going to put that on it. So that's become our chimney. Now if you wanted to, you could shove that across one. That would be quite reasonable. But if you come inside here, you'll now notice that you've got a little bit of stone. And I think that looks just a smidgen not quite right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves, there it is, we're going to get that fella, and we're going to put that on the inside on either side. And that blocks up the fact that we've got a chimney there. And I think that works really rather well because it now frames off the window on both sides, which is good. Coming out of the door, not putting that there. So we've just got a little bit more to do before I think we're ready. And I don't know why I just walked into the water. So first things first, we are going to just trim off a little bit under this top here with some spruce slabs. What that does is that gives a little bit of a ledge over that window or just underneath that window, which again, if you wanted to, you could put a plant pot or something like that on it. And it also stops it being quite so blocky. It gives a little bit more depth on that side. Come around this side again, we're gonna do exactly the same along there you can see it gives another level of depth which is always really really interesting and what we're going to do here is we're going to take one of these uh, exits we don't doesn't matter which one you do just decide which side you want I'm going to have that as my front door therefore this becomes my back door and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a gravel path that is just a little bit random coming along like that and on one side of that I'm going to build myself just a little bit of a farm. So we're going to have it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only going to be a little farm. And underneath here, we're going to put some water. And then we're going to put the cobblestone stairs back again. And you won't be able to see it. And then we're going to do exactly the same on this side. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can see that's all we need. Open that up, get there, dump the water in put that back yes you can just about see the water but that's okay because that will remind you that it's there then we're going to just sow in some seeds and you don't have to do uh, exactly the same on both sides i just need to hoe that last square on both sides again like that it doesn't have to be the same on both sides one could be carrot one could be wheat it's up to you don't really care whatever you want to do is your choice and then we're going to get some cobblestone wall and we're just going to run the wall along each side just to give a bit of a perimeter for this particular build like that there you go so that is a nice little back garden area and then on this front side we're going to just do a similar thing where we're going to create a path but we're not going to have it coming straight out we're just going to have it come in a little bit like that then we're going to get ourselves a spade wooden spades fine that's all you need and we're going to get the back of our spade by right clicking and just creating some pathway like that and I think that looks really nice so we've got a pathway which has naturally been lined there by these flowers which is also good I'm quite happy with that and it's starting to look really quite nice then all we want to do is maybe by the end of that day which is probably finished now you just want to put a little bit more detail around the sides and then you'll be done and we've got what I would consider to be a relatively finished house. Now you've got that shelf below the window on the second level there. Absolutely, you could put some extra stuff on there just to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, detailed or depth or put some color on there if you wanted to. I've put some just wooden block posts with torches on just to give it a little bit more light. Put some torches on the edges of the fence as well to lighten it up. If you wanted to put something on here, for example, this little windowsill, it's a very nice idea to do that. At the front, we've put some fencing just cobblestone fencing with some wooden blocks. That's got some extra light on there as well. Similarly, on the front here, you could put something on there. It's entirely up to you. And I put some ladders on the outside here because it just gives a little bit of texture to it. I quite like the way the texture works. And that is pretty much a finished house. You could do that, I think, in 
two Minecraft days. One Minecraft day if you are super efficient and very, very impressive, but certainly two Minecraft days is not out of the question. You can definitely make yourself protected within the first Minecraft day. So let me know what you think about that one in the comments. I'd be really, really interested to know. Let's have a look at what it looks like in a shader pack. Now I have got sushi shaders on here, which are always a challenge because I've got the full on spec, like two times video rendering and everything like that on. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit jerky. I apologize for that, but it gives you a good idea as to what this house could look like in a really nice shader pack. I like sushi, sushi looks really, really good. So that is what we're looking at inside and out. You can see inside through the windows and I think it looks really, really quite snazzy. I'm very, very pleased. So that is one genuine starter house on a seven by seven footprint. Genuine starter because all it uses is some wood, some stone and a little bit of sand and you have to bash the odd sheep. Nothing else, nothing clever from the nether, no dodgy ores, no fancy crafting. It is dead, dead simple and looks absolutely great I think for a really early starter home. You could then build on it once you've got more time but you could do it within the first couple of nights. I'm absolutely convinced that you have the ability to do this within the first couple of nights of your brand new Minecraft world if you got ready and really went for it. So congratulations if you have a go at this. It would be great to know what you think of it. Also, if you've not done it already, please do slap that like button. It would be great to know you're enjoying it and maybe I'll do more of this type of tutorial. And it would be great to see you in my sub club. Please do slap that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Don't miss any of my videos by not ringing that bell. That would be daft. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.